this is Kate Havnevik. I have a new album called Lightship. I wrote this album with Guy Sigsworth and we took some time talking to our friend and Norwegian music journalist Per Sundnes about each track on the album. In this episode we're talking about Space Arc. Die for pearls. So the fourth track is Space Arc and, and Guy, what's the featured instrument here? Um, I had these samples, a sample collection of some plate bells, and originally they were quite non-tonal, and I just put them in an editor and removed the harmonics that made it atonal, and then I started playing just a simple pattern, and then Kate was immediately off. Um, and I loved the sound of it and the feeling of it, and it, it sounded like we were in some exotic temple or something and I loved um, I think at the time we were jamming that that was one of the songs where the boat was off the water and we definitely were <laughs> tilted <laughs> yeah. tilted in the water yeah. we yeah. were doing that and I, I think that got into the feeling of it and the weightlessness you know and I think that's why when we came to do lyrics um, this image of of like the idea of a space arc of a spaceship that's you know slowly going to another solar system in, in you know these intergenerational spaceships that, I, that idea in sci-fi just seemed like the right idea because i like the fact that this was a very organic sound so we could write a really techno lyric whereas when we got a techno sound maybe we should have a more folk lyric or something <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the thing is like i mean like you say i mean the being on the light ship i mean it was a little bit like being in a different world because yeah. you have these round windows and these small doors and every room yeah. was very sort of small and, and strangely shaped and the, the control room was really like a, yeah like a, a spaceship control room um, it was really yeah. like a special environment and it really uh, inspired us uh, I think uh, it was like we were in a space arc <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> traveling I don't know if I should mention. Have you, do you know an, of an old um, English comedian called Tommy Cooper? Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah. If you've yeah. ever seen film of him? Yeah. But there's this one of my funniest things I've ever seen. He do him doing. You can find the clip on YouTube. Um, he does this scene where he's like an entertainer on a ship in a very rough sea, and he's a, a ventriloquist with his dummy, and he's trying to do stuff, and the ship is <laughs> keeling like this, and there's water coming in through the portholes, and um, <laughs> I suppose you know it's it's just one of the funniest things ever, and I, and I love this sort of image of somebody trying to hold their balance when the thing is doing this, and I, that was definitely what the latest stage of that first day was like, yeah. and I do think in in some strange way it influenced the music. <laughs> Absolutely. I think so too. And actually I'm discovering more about it now as we talk about it because, you know, again, it, the weightlessness, of course, it comes from this sort of yeah. boat feeling. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, yeah. and even this song Space Arc, you know, the chorus, I sing, run away, run away, closer, but run away yeah. at home. And it's kind of like, you know, it, it, it's like we're on this journey and going somewhere. Um, you know, while the Earth sleeps, we are riding the world ship. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this sort of imagination of sailing around in the universe, in a way, with this this song. Mm -hmm. You should have a concert on the ship. Yeah, I know. We are we are planning to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very small. <laughs> it, it will have to be very, very VIP. <laughs> and I think also the plate bells, they, they sometimes remind me of hang drums yeah uh, of a bit like that. the way you treat them and and, and yeah it, it's kind of a, a weightless type of sound so uh, we're going for a lot of escapism and a lot of weightless stuff but still i think you've got, all right we're on, only into the fourth song and i think we covered everything already like <laughs> yeah. lyric wise uh, and content wise so exactly. it's intriguing for people to actually Put their own meanings to the songs. Yeah, and, and I oh, hope exactly. people yeah. will do that. We're not telling people how to experience the songs at all. It's more sharing the, the thoughts behind them. Mm -hmm. 